Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Friends by Why Don't We. Okay, so give you a preview of the two main sections we're going to learn, the pre-chorus and the chorus section. Both sections are really awesome. Check it out, give you a preview, it goes like this. repeating section goes like this. Peace. And it repeats, etc. Alright, let's get right into it. So, first of all, uh, the pre-chorus is the section that has more parts to it because um, it's more different there, okay? The chorus section is pretty easy. It's like just one part itself. But anyway, here we go. Let's learn the pre-chorus first, okay? I actually like the pre-chorus quite a lot. So here we go. First part, we'll break it up to four parts in total for the pre-chorus, so it's easy to learn. So right hand first part starts on the G sharp here. Middle C, C, L for reference, so go up to the G sharp here. Up to D sharp, C sharp. C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp. Like that. So that's the first part for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this. G sharp, D sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp. And that's the right hand. That's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, four important chords here. These four chords appear a lot of parts in this um, lesson. So remember these four chords. The four chords are G sharp minor, G sharp, B, D sharp. The second chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Third chord is F sharp major is a fully black note chord. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. And then the fourth chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so G sharp minor, C sharp minor, F sharp major, and B major. With these four chords in mind, uh, the two hands together goes like this. G sharp and G sharp minor together. D sharp and C sharp minor together. C sharp and F sharp major together. C sharp and B major together. Like that. Okay, that's the first part one more time. So it goes together, 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 together. Yeah, also you might have noticed how the chords kind of work. It's not like a typical four beat kind of like chord phrase. It's always three, five, three, five, alternate between those beats. So it's like three count followed by five count. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Appears a lot of times in a lot of pop songs, but it still adds up to eight, right? Three plus five is eight. It equals this normal subdivided count. So anyway, remember that. It'll help you a lot in this lesson, okay? So that's the first part. After you get the first part, second part continues like this. G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, down to F sharp twice, up to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, and then goes G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B. That's the right hand. Okay, one more time. It goes like this. G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, down to F sharp twice, up to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B. That's the right hand. Okay, so with that right hand in mind, so it goes G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, down to F sharp twice, up to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B. That's the right hand. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, same four chords. The four chords are G sharp minor, G sharp, B, D sharp. Second chord, C sharp minor, C sharp, E, G sharp. Third chord F sharp major again, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and fourth chord B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. So you know these four chords already, pretty simple stuff. Two hands together goes like this, G sharp and G sharp minor together, D sharp and C sharp minor together, C sharp and F sharp major together, B and B major together. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this, together, 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 together. Just like that simple stuff, okay? So. Now, after that, uh, let me see. Awesome stuff because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. Um, before we do that, actually. Actually, no, no, we'll, we'll do that, okay? So the third part, same as the first part, so just exactly the same. Okay, now, that you know that third part, same as the first part, we'll play the three parts we've learned so far back to back so you know what we've got so far. Just remember, third part is the same as the first part, okay? So it goes like this. Now, move 
Moving on to the fourth and last one of this pre-chorus goes G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, G, like that. That's the right hand for the fourth part. Pretty awesome stuff. One more time, it goes G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, G. And that's the right hand. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Second chord, C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Third chord, D sharp major, which is D sharp, G, A sharp. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so E major, C sharp minor, and D sharp major. Two hands together goes like this, G sharp and E major together. G sharp, C sharp minor together. G and D sharp major together, like that. One more time, it goes together, one, two, three, together. Together. And that's it for the fourth part. I like this part. Okay, but anyway, back to back, all four parts of the pre-chorus will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on to the uh, the chorus section. The chorus section is really easy. It's just a repeating part that plays. Okay, so here we go. I'll teach you right now. Right hand. We can do it in one go because there's only one part essentially. Right hand goes B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and then quickly B, A sharp, G sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp. And that's it for the right hand. That's the whole part. Okay, one more time. It goes like this. B, A sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp. So a lot of sharps there. Okay, like this. And that's the right hand. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have the four chord pattern that I taught you uh, like earlier in the lesson, the very important four chords. G sharp minor, G sharp, B, D sharp, C sharp minor, C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp major, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. So with those four chords in mind, so G sharp minor, C sharp minor, F sharp major and B major. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. B and G sharp minor together. F sharp and C sharp minor together. After C sharp, F sharp major by itself. B major by itself. Like that, and that's it. One more time, goes like this. Together, together. Here, here, and just repeat that. So after you got all the melody and chords right for both sections, you know, when you're very comfortable to kind of like um, play those melody and chords very smoothly, all the rhythm correct and everything, then you can start adding like improvisations and decoration patterns to make it sound more interesting, okay? So for beginners, it will be a little bit harder because the left hand chords is not the typical four count chords, it's three, five, so always keep that in mind. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, so you have to count that always for the left hand chords and improvisations, okay? So yeah, okay, so keep that in mind when you're doing those decorations, okay? So it's like So because it's a simple four chord pattern, you can do a lot of like just like playing around with it, okay? So it seems to be the case for a lot of Why Don't We songs, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you like Why Don't We songs, go ahead, check out the rest of my channel. I've done 
quite a lot of other uh, why don't we uh, tutorials like the pretty awesome songs on my channel as well okay so uh, those are like probably my more favorite ones okay but anyways so go ahead and learn them for yourself and go ahead check out the rest of my channel literally multiple thousands of other videos where to enjoy and learn from also if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ear improvise read sheet music go ahead you can learn it from my piano website bestpianomethod.com it's linked in the description below and that's pretty much it as for now enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below see you next time